firstly, um, yeah, just to provide a bit of background. So um, basically, Duxton Capital is an agri-asset manager. Uh, we manage uh, about $700 million worth of um, agri-assets um, across dairy, grain, uh, viticulture, uh, amongst others, and, and water uh, being one of, uh, one of the areas that we have um, we've developed out an entity. Um, so we're the only ASX listed uh, solely uh, exposure, sole exposure to, uh, to Australian water rights. Um, currently, that, that entity, that company, uh, holds a portfolio of about $90 million worth of water rights, and we then use that to provide water supply solutions back into agriculture. So ultimately, from, a, from an irrigator perspective, uh, it's really around a capital allocation uh, uh, decision for them as to whether they have their production assets and the, uh, the water rights uh, together in their own entity and own those, or alternatively outsource uh, what is a, obviously a critical input uh, into into their businesses and a critical input into really the intensification of, of agriculture that we're we're, we're seeing. Um, a couple of the comments that yeah I just I think I thought was important to um, to, to provide. One is um, I suppose the size and scale of the emergence of um, of uh, of the um, Australian water market. Um, the market now plays an incredibly important, as Rob said, incredibly important part of, uh, of irrigators' uh, uh, whole business business makeup, and uh, and it's inc you know and, inc and increasingly uh, uh, it's occurring in an increasing way. Um, the exposure that we saw uh, earlier through um, some of the graphs, obviously, we're seeing a lot more uh, trade occurring, and certainly, um, you know, the exposure prior to the millennial drought. You know, a lot of high security users, a lot of permanent producers owned and, and held the rights that they needed uh, for their production. Um, what we saw through the millennial drought was obviously um, those rights not delivering the levels of requirement they, they needed. And, and we saw a significant increase in the number of participants coming into the market uh, through that, uh, that five or six year, year period. Coming out of that period, obviously we had the, we've had the recovery process and we've seen um, asset or well, water asset right it's held uh, and changes uh, to to the way people are holding those rights they may have participated in government buybacks or uh, or other um, other me um, processes within that um, but we also saw irrigators come out of that that period with now an experience in the market uh, and and I suppose beyond that uh, we've seen um, you know a significant increase in the level of activation uh, of, uh, of irrigator participation. Um, we've seen a significant increase in the level of complexity or the, the approach that uh, irrigators are now taking, the, the products that they're actually utilising through, uh, through the market and, the, and those products which are developing through the market. So we've talked about uh, carryover and the ability to actually maximise the characteristics of the underlying water rights. Um, that's become incredibly important in the ability for irrigators to actually um, manage uh, their rights across one year to the next but also to, uh, to look at, uh, at circumstances around, uh, well, I've talked about capital allocation, so whether they're owning those rights themselves, whether they're leasing uh, those rights in, getting the same characteristics, but not holding those assets on their balance sheet. Um, and, and then also within the spot market, uh, both the spot market transactions, so the purchase of annual allocation, which has been consistent, and, and, and the traditional um, method of top-up that irrigators have uh, engaged into the market, but the extension of that into uh, into forward contracts. So irrigators taking a position or being able to take a position across one water year or across multiple water years, and having uh, allocation usable water delivered uh, at a price that's then fixed uh, and and locked down into their business model, uh, and uh, and certainly some security out a, a number of number of years. So they're, they're the type of products that are, uh, are developing, the type of um, approaches that irrigators are, are taking. Um, the only other comment I, I probably wanted to make was, um, you know, certainly we've had a lot of focus, um, and you know, rightly so, in the, in the Murray-Darling uh, Basin Plan. Obviously that's taken up a lot of focus and attention, um, particularly over the last uh, decade. Uh, and prior to that, through you know, the National Water Initiative and other initiatives, we saw uh, you know, considerable focus and, and, uh, uh, and um, work undertaken in really getting the structures right around entitlement, um, uh, the entitlement regulation, entitlement structure, ensuring that irrigators had clear title of their access to their assets, 
uh, and, uh, and, and really building some of these fundamental, uh, fundamental um, building blocks, if you like, for the, for, for the market that we're now operating in, so the mature market that's evolved and developed. Um, and I think certainly some of that uh, deferred focus, if you like, and it's not, you know, as I said, rightly, rightly so, but um, in, in some cases I think the market and the way that irrigators are now evolving and utilising the market has evolved, in some cases beyond uh, the understanding of, of some of the government structures that sit around that, or the governance structures that sit around that, um, be it the register structures uh, or, um, and, and I, you know, be the register structures um, and the fundamental trading um, um, uh, requirements or, um, or some of the policy uh, requirements as well. So I think certainly over time we'll see, um, well certainly for the market to develop and for irrigators to have confidence in, uh, in their further investment into agriculture going forward, um, you know, continued attention uh, certainly needs to be paid to, uh, to you know, the underlying foundations of, of the market. Uh, and and um, yeah, and and the entitlement structure. I'll leave it to you. Thanks.